TJ still with the pickup, and Steve Byer is going to add this tonight with Steve Aaron Ted all their plans for him this evening. Nice spinning pick in the corner. Follow up with that. Spring back over. Look at Country Air using alternating strikes, and Boz had to break it up. of CSW tonight. CSW Tag Team Championships are on the line. The debut in Chicago Star Wrestling of a very, very successful top-notch tag team elsewhere. Country Air make their debut in Chicago Star Wrestling. The greatest heavyweight of all time, Doc Simmons, who was a finalist in one of our CSW Futures Royals against Cypher before, I remember. will join forces with the outlaw, Zach Hendricks, a multiple heavyweight champion elsewhere. They're looking to score their first tag team title here tonight, Stan. Will we see it here in Chicago style wrestling? Well, we better not. They just grab the belt, Marco Anthony style, and they're saying say hello to your new champs. Well, they didn't even win the belt. A little bit too early for Country Air to celebrate a victory. They have not yet locked up with the tag team that has been making headlines and has been the true success story in CSW. A team that's held the tag titles now, what is it, over a year and two months? This, this is one of the 426 days. This is one of the longest exactly. reigning CSW tag team champions oh, in recent man. memory. And they are possibly one of the greatest tag teams. Well, they are one of the greatest tag teams in CSW history, but they're rivaling the top teams anywhere in the world. We're outside in the elements, West Chicago, at the Cairo Ale House. And it is a cold, chilly October bright night. It is warm. It's 39 degrees. Come on. Well, there's a change in the air, and it's the country. It's seven stand. degrees above freezing, so we're OK. Uh, I'm talking about the tag team that's challenging for the tag title, Zach Hendricks. Yeah, and that country up. air smells different. Have you ever been out in the country? And Man, the cows and the and the pastures and the you know the manure. Well, what I smell know. is the possibilities that maybe there's a tag team that can equal the intensity and the success oh, of Oz and TJ Steele. A tag team that can equal their intensity. Well, yeah, you heard them on social media, Stan. They say that they can only be held down for so long until the grown men. And this is country air, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They they're promise gonna... they're going to give the whipping of their lives to the Bruce Brothers. Oh, a whipping they can give them. A whipping they can and give they've anybody. They're, declared they're good themselves, at whipping people. They've already declared themselves as the new tag team champions even before this match could even get underway. Well, that's a good, healthy mindset. I'll give them that. Because you know what? You have to think like a champion in order to proceed like a champion, in order to be perceived like a champion, in order to become a TJ, champion. TJ Stills got some great lethal kicks and knee smashes, and he just got the backside of Zach Hendricks. One of the top rising stars in the scene is Zach Hendricks, known for a jaw jack, which is a Death Valley driver onto his kneecap, and oh no, falling flat. Oh no, the lights are gone. The flatlining drop out of a full Nelson he's done before. Very aggressive, and he can deliver the goods inside of the ring. Let's see how Zach Hendricks handles the pressure of being in the ring against TJ Steele right in. Go behind, wrist lock, a hammer lock, but it's counted. Zach Hendricks, very good at chain wrestling and grappling. This is going to be a tough challenge for TJ Steele, in my estimation. Zach Hendricks is trying to prevent his shoulders from being planted on the mat for the three count, and TJ Steele rolls out of the way. TJ Steele getting the upper hand early. TJ Steele just made the tag to see if Oz the double teaming Mr. Hendrick. I don't know if the referee saw the tag. Yeah, he had to have seen the tag. Yeah, Zach Hendricks is in a lot of pain and anguish. The expectations are as good as any for Country Air. Oh, yeah, he's in pain. 
You hear them? They can hear them for miles up and down Route 59. Outside tag teams that have come into CSW in the past to challenge the Bruise Brothers, like the Low Lives, it hasn't ended up very positively for them. If you remember, the Bruise Brothers took care of business when needed to, and the doors are open, Stan. They want to be fighting champions through the Bruise Brothers. They're inviting any and all tag teams into the scene. Haven't they beaten any and all tag teams? They've beaten the Rage, the Low Lives, like you said, the Slambinos. Chris Miller and Jack Moody, the the, the freak show, uh, beautifully beautifully forced trauma, which is the returning Jack Shatter, who had wanted revenge against uh, T.J. Steele, his former partner, and, and he, he, he teamed with uh, Ryan Matthews, who's in the main event tonight. I mean, they've beaten everybody. Well, that we have outsourced for the greatest heavyweight of all time, Doc Simmons, but he looks like a, a child in the hands he of Steve Rogers. He not looks like a child. Damage, Doc Simmons, do not call Doc, Doc Simmons a child. That man is great. G-R-E-A-T. And if you want to add the E-S-T, for greatest of all time. Well, Steve Bonds going to take flight. And there's a piece of the country air for you from yeah. superstar Steve Bonds. Well, he's flying through the country air. He's flying through the country air. Sailing. Well, Doc Simmons is also known for taking flight as he is the breath of fresh air potentially in the tag team division that we I haven't see seen that before. I see what you did there. The, fre uh, the breath of fresh country air. Real good, Ken. TJ Steele with the pickup, and Steve Baugh is going to add this. Devastating side slam and a leg drop combination. Will that be enough? Two count there. I don't know if you can catch the plane that keeps flying overhead. And Wait a minute. Zach Hendricks with a plane kick right to the lower back. And look at that. Well placed drop kick by Doc Simmons. And TJ Steele's left leg might have buckled right there. It and did Zach buckle. Hendricks taking it advantage of the opportunity right here. Working over that left knee. Zach Hendricks. Right as the referee turned, stops the abuse so that Doc Simmons can continue to inflict harm. Reverse chair lock has been applied. Doc Simmons doing the damage here. And country air trying to slow down the Bruce Brothers in a well calculated strike. Right to the hamstring. Oh, shut you up. Oh. And Doc Simmons oh, laughing at the expense of the fans and TJ Steele, the tag team champion in this one. TJ Steele, as amped as ever to compete in a CSW ring, he said he wanted a shot at the heavyweight title tonight. But Steve Aaron had other plans for him this evening. Nice spinning kick in the corner. Followed up with that. Springing back a little. Look at Country Air using alternating strikes. And Boz had to break it up. TJ Steele's leg has not yet recovered from the abuse earlier in this match. Challengers have been lining up all over town. And the Bruce Brothers have been knocking them down one by one. Each tag team in succession. To settle the score against Willie Richardson and the Metro Stars, the Bruce Brothers had to exhaust all of their resources and even needed Cody James' help in order to overcome that challenge. This is a new challenge that maybe they weren't fully prepared for. The defending champions is fighting champions, saying they wanted an opportunity to face country every night, and this could be the test that will really put TJ Steele and Steve Boss on their heels. Swings left and right by both combatants as TJ Steele spinning neck breaker. Both men are down. Can Steve Boss get himself physically involved back in this struggle here tonight? The tag titles to see us running around the line. And Doc Simmons, cheap shot to the jaw of Steve Boz. And Doc Simmons on his way back to the corner. Drag TJ Steele a little closer so that way they can cut off the ring and continue to wear down TJ Steele in their corner. TJ Steele is an extremely physical competitor in that ring. Tremendous physique. And along
alongside Steve Boss. He's made adjustments to his entering game, to his style. He's motivated. He's much improved. He's a polished warrior of the ring. But tonight, two on one, doesn't matter what the two are. TJ Steele is going to struggle here against the two on one outs. Steele swings, hits both individuals. Blockbuster neck breaker. A glancing blow. Was that enough to put down Country Air and Zach Hendricks in this match? Referee Amazing Turtle Mike Brennan making the count in this battle between Country Air and the Bruce Brothers. The map up, the tag. Here's Superstar Steve The close line. And again, Steve Bob. Pull the herd to one Doc Simmons. Watch out. Big time. Yuri Nagy puts down the greatest heavyweight of all time, Doc Simmons, in the middle of the ring. But he forgot about Zach Hendricks even for a moment, a split second. It could be costly for them and their tag team titles. Look at this. Boss spinning and dropping Zach Hendricks right out of his face. The Bruce Brothers in control. Oh, Doc Simmons with a well-calculated kick. Turning himself upside down like a projectile, like a spinning javelin or a spinning... Oh, look at that. Inverted. Set out Bob by TJ Still Wipes out Doc Simmons. And look at that. Falling spinning flatliner by the outlaw Zach Hendricks. Puts TJ Steel down and he already has a wounded left leg that was damaged earlier in this match. Country Air trying to take advantage of Boz in a two on one situation. Oh, Will we no. see new tag team champions? Not, but oh, Hendricks accidentally straddled Doc Simmons in the near side corner. And now's an opportunity for the Bruce Brothers to put down their adversary. Paul Nelson, Bob, and that's going to lead to this. The double team knee smash. It's a mock kick. It's stereo. Oh, Doc Simmons got knocked. Silly. The Bruce Brothers on top. They did it. They retained the tag team titles. They will live to see another day as champions. We're able to smell the country. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Post match. Yeah, these attack. guys mean business. We had a post match attack yeah. right down here. Yeah, this was a very tough title defense, I gotta say. Country air. These guys mean business. What's this? Cody James is here. Cody James is here to save. TJ Steele and Steve Boz. Wow, are we fortunate that Cody James was here to save the tag champions after that one. That was a very physical tag team match that could have had some bad repercussions like we saw yeah. with Hades X1X earlier. We didn't need to see that. No, we didn't. What is this music all about? It is no. Fright Night. Wait a minute. Who the heck is that? Wait, isn't that one of those it's got a freaks? mascot. Who is that? Yeah, it's one of those freaks from those movies. Michael or whatever. Is that Michael again? We're about to see a showdown. Cody James against uh, his this physique, mask, man. Yeah, his physique looks familiar. What the what? heck was that? Hey! Cody James is hey! the tag champions. What? what? Who's I that? Who I is didn't that? See that what? No! The career killer Chris Miller is here! Oh, no! He shook hands with his enemy, oh. Cody James! And then the lights went out. Just like that. The lights went out. The symbolism. We didn't see that coming. You think I cared about any one of you? Yeah, we did! We all thought you cared about us, you son of a gun! No! No! Stereo drops just, by Cody James and Chris Miller. They just Was went, this a plan? 
What is Steve Aaron doing here? Did Steve Aaron have anything to do with this? It's not Steve Aaron, that's Batman. And it's not funny. The franchise of Chicago Style Wrestling, head trainer of CSW's Training Academy, Steve Boz, has been laid out. You got TJ Steele, the muscle man, is out cold. The tag titles in the grasp of Cody James and Chris They Miller. just had a tough title defense, a grueling match against Country Air. Stan, Chris Miller is a former tag team champion and he has been plotting this particular... He just snapped that mask right off of Aaron's head. He just pie-faced him as well. Well, Aaron has been belligerent towards him, and rightfully so. I mean, people, you know, they, this is Chicago. Is there, is there a reason for this? What seems to be the situation here? Cody James and Chris Miller were in a feud. I mean, Miller had attacked Cody James so many times. I am not particularly fond of what we have just witnessed here, well, Stan. No. Betrayal has been set forth. Cody James, who ended the career of Chris Miller. They are, they are D.O. The Bruce Brothers. Oh no, don't give him a shot. There's only one like man that can They've never take been a tag team. No, don't give him a shot. Now they're so mad, they're gonna give him a title shot. I understand being angry, but you don't just give somebody a title shot just like that. You don't never do anything out of anger. I was almost certain that Chris Miller was banished from CSW for good. That's what I thought he was yeah. not allowed to wrestle here ever again. Well, Steve Aaron. You sent me the text well, Steve, saying that to me. Well, Steve Aaron, reinstate Chris Miller for this impending challenge. He probably will because these guys are angry. Aaron is still stunned at ringside. He can't believe what he just witnessed. They can't believe what they just felt, Boz and TJ Steele. We have just witnessed one of the most shocking moments of the year here in Chicago style wrestling. I don't think anyone could have ever thought that it would ever be possible for Chris Miller and Cody James to be on the same side. On the and same TJ side after what TJ Steele's nose has been busted open. Look, it's all splattered. Absolutely in a horrific manner on Fright Night, no less.